Hey guys, it's macOS Kurexer and I'm back. And today I'm going to be showing you how to change your icons and your dock um, in a simpler way than I had before with a newer application out. We're going to be using an application called Candy Bar. You can see down here what I've done. I've dragged all these new icons, such as an iChat icon, a new iTunes, a new Finder, Safari, and you can see all my folders are now black. So, and we also have a new trash can here. So we're going to open up my applications folder, and you can see every folder is like this. Except for, of course, these are specific application folders, which are exceptions. So we're going to go ahead, the application called Candy Bar, and we're going to open it up. And you can see I have tons of icons that I've been messing around with here. So you're going to open up on this screen here with drag an icon into a well to change it, or out to restore it. So we could drag something out, and it would restore the old icon. I'm not going to do that because I spent quite a long time finding all these icons. So, let's say we wanted to change an icon. We could go scroll through. You're going to have to find some icons. You can do this just by Googling. There's a good website. It'll be in the description called Icon Factory. So, you can go to that website. You can see a few of these I could not find a icon for. But they have plenty of icons, trust me. I mean, they even have smart folder icons. They have, this is just one of my favorite trash can ones. So you can start Googling around. There's plenty of icon websites for the Mac. You can see I have different disks down here. Sometimes, however, they do kind of simplify them and minimize them in here. So it's probably better if you do open up when you download them, go into your downloads folder and simply drag them from finder into here so you can see the full names so you drag them to the correct places so i'll do a quick demonstration here um, and we'll say i wanted to change one of these we could change uh we'll change server just because i hate having that there so we're going to drag a nice server icon there we could drag We'll use this one for the heck of it. There's a server icon. So we can apply icons, type in our password, and you'll be told that you have to log out for in order for the change to affect. I'm not going to log out for obvious reasons. You can also organize by um, folders. You can see you can see all the different folders that you have. Next, you can do applications, which is one of my favorite here. So you can add individual applications, which is what I did originally. You can see they come with some defaults, and you can automatically use these because there's um, you can get packs for this. So I did change that. You can also drag uh, backgrounds here and different separators and different uh, indicators. And you also have volume icons. If there is a plugged in volume, you can specifically change it. So that is how you can do this. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you like this. I hope you download it and comment, rate, and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, guys.